In this video, we're going to have a look at the hip, drop, twist, three, four shimmy, or hagala shimmy. First, I'll break down the movement, then I'll do a basic drill, followed by a combination, and lastly, I'll add some finger symbols onto that combination for more advanced dances. Let's begin. Let's start by breaking down the movement. So we have a hip drop, but we're also twisting. Actually, what we're doing is lifting up the hip and rolling it forward and twisting, and then we drop it down at the end of the movement. It's kind of like we circle up, circle forward, drop. Let's have a look at that movement in our hips without going into the shimmy. Right hip up, lift forward, down, left, up, roll over, drop, again, drop, again, drop. Now when you practice this, if you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you might feel a bit silly. It looks a little bit silly, but trust me, if you get this rolling movement happening with your hip, then it's really the key to this Hagala Shimmy. So don't give up and don't laugh at yourself too much. Again, over. Over, over, over. Okay, so you should see that we have a bit of a circular movement here. Let me show you from the side. Down, 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 down. Now, when we do the three, four shimmy, we have some extra movements. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down. And so on the end, what we're doing is popping that hip back up. Let's try that. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Down. Again. Down and up, 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 down. Last one. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down. Let's do a basic 3-4 shimmy drill, starting on the right as we did before when I broke down the movement. We'll start slowly and then gradually get faster. 1 and up, 2 and up, 3 and up, 4 again. 1 and up, 2 and up, 3 and up, 4. 1 and up, 2 and up, 3 and up, 4 and up, 1. And a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, three, and a four, and a one, the two, and the three, and the first one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, faster again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In this combination, we're going to use the three, four shimmy and the shoulder shimmy. Before we look at the combination, I'd like to have a look at the 3-4 shimmy with a level change. Now, we're going to start the 3-4 shimmy on the right. One. So when you do that first twist hip drop, I want you to really bend the knee and sink down into that movement. 
one and a two. So the second one with the left hip and the left foot moving forward. This one is just as normal as usual. Again. One and a two and a three and a four. So on the odd numbered beats, one, three, five, however long you want to do that one, I want you to sink down into the hip. Now we're actually going to do this one traveling sideways and the hip that's going to drop is the one that's forward or the one that's facing the audience. So if we start in this corner, right leg, one and a two. Now you can see that with the twist movement, I've actually ended up facing the front. So I start and my body is facing the corner. One and a two. And a three and a four and a five and a six. So we're going to do six of the three four shimmies. Then we're going to finish with our body facing the corner and we'll do some shoulder shimmies. Let's try all that. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight. We're going to repeat this opposite. So now I have my left leg, left hip, we'll start here. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a we're going to do seven shoulder pushes at the end of the combination. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight. One and a two and a three and a four and a, and a six and a seven and a eight. If you want to add some hand movement just before we do the shoulder shimmies, perhaps you want to do some inward wrist circles. It's up to you. Five, six, seven, eight. Before we add the finger symbols onto our drill, let's quickly review the pattern. Let's pretend that we're right hand dominant. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. I'm going to count it as follows. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a one, two, three, four, five. So when I say, and a one, two, three, four, five, that gives me the seven at the end of our pattern. Let's try it again. Ready? And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a one, two, three, four, five. Now if you're left hand dominant, it would be like this. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. 